Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Germs. One day, the kittens came home from playing outside and wanted some fruit to eat. Yummy! I want to have an apple. I want grapes. And I want both apples and grapes. Kittens, weren't all of you just playing outside? You need to wash your paws before you eat because they're covered with germs. I've never seen a single germ in my whole life. What if germs are just a story Mommy made up to scare us into washing our paws? Hey, why don't the three of us go on a big germ hunt? And if we don't find any, we can tell Mommy germs don't exist. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Mommy always says that there are lots of germs in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't see even one germ anywhere. Of course not. Who'd want to live in the toilet? Maybe they like to live where there's food around them everywhere. The kitchen! <laughs> so, um, have you found any germs? Not even one teeny tiny baby germling. Well, maybe they're so teeny tiny that you can't see them at all without a magnifying glass. Oh. Oh, this is no germ. It's our dad. <laughs> see germs on any of these buttons. Yikes, oh. I found one. Right in there. It's just a regular old spider. Mommy's always telling us to wash our paws when we've been playing outside, right? That must mean that lots of germs live outside. The kittens examined everything around them very carefully, but they still didn't find any germs. That's it. Our research proved there's no such thing as germs. Right. And I'm going to eat something right now without bothering to wash my filthy paws. Cookie, did you remember to wash your paws first? They've got germs all over them. And you're getting germs on the cupcakes as well. Daddy, don't tell me you believe those fairy tales about germs because we proved they aren't real. We looked everywhere and didn't find them. There's none outside or in the toilet either. So we never have to wash our paws again. No! You didn't see any germs because germs are very, very tiny. Even a magnifying glass can't see them. You can only see them through a special machine that's way stronger than a magnifying glass called a microscope. <laughs> Whoa. I have a really good idea. The kittens wash their paws with soap and then check them again through the microscope. Hmm. Well, now there aren't any germs on your paws at all. Which means you can eat all the cupcakes and fruit that you like. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> it was so nice to eat cupcakes and fruit when they knew there were no germs on their paws. From then on, the kitty cats always washed their paws before they ate. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash, and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out.
Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the good deeds agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. <laughs> to go get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens, some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help. <laughs> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, cheeky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, da ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh! Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's gonna be so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the lunch. Ah. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> what if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. <laughs> Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police. Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. We could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh. Oh. oh, the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh, boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on, look at that. The pinwheel, they're afraid of the pinwheel. It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. Bo's Marvelous Play. One day, Bo invited the kittens and mustard to his house to watch a play he had written. I present a great spectacle. Beauty and the Marvelous Violin! Will this be a real play, like with actors and props? And scenery and everything? And music, too? It's got all those things and music, too. And guess what? I'm going to do everything and it will be really great. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <sighs> I really hope it will be super fun because I so get super sleepy after lunch. <sighs> I'm the prince of this faraway country, and I have a marvelous violin whose music always makes people happy. Now, where's that carpet sword I made? Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh. That violin doesn't make me happy. I am the wicked underground king, and I hate that music so much. Oh, no. Underground king wants to destroy my marvelous violin. I shall hide in the woods. 
Oh, sorry, it's tricky handling all this stuff on my own. I could help you with all the scenery and props if you want. It'd be much easier if I did. Mm-hmm. This sure is a scary forest! My whole tail is covered in goosebumps! Oh! Huh? It isn't time for this music to be played yet. This scene is supposed to feel scary. That fun music didn't feel scary. Well, I could be in charge of turning the music on and off if it would help. Mm. <laughs> the lovely damsel has been asleep for a hundred years. Ooh. But I will wake her up with my marvelous violin. Again. I'll chop the violin in two. It will be silenced forever. No, Evil King, I will stop you. Prince, Evil King, don't argue. <laughs> You'll never beat me. We'll soon see. Uh, let's just all be friends, guys. Only if he promises not to touch my violin. No way, I hate music. Just wait for a second. I'm really confused right now. Who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? Oh, boy. I wanted the play to be brilliant, and instead it's a disaster. I'm a terrible actor. You're a great actor, but you're playing too many parts at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I wish there were more of me. Then I could do everything myself. No, no, no. I know what we need to do. Cookie, would you play the role of the evil underground king? Oh, yes! I've always wanted a chance to try acting. Sleepy Mustard, huh? would you play the part of the Sleeping Beauty? A beauty? Yes, I can do that. <sighs> as well as sleeping, for sure. Phew. and his company of kittens put on a marvelous show because everything is better when you do it with friends. The Sweet Truth. One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This part is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels, all flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm -hmm. got it. We just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies, great cookies. Come and try some great cookies. Hi there. Hey, guys. You've got to try the cookies our dad made. 
Sure we will. But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to Dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey, you guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something, something super awesome? awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> The magic cookie from Kitty Cats. Try one now. Oh, wow. We want your cookies. Hey, my cookie isn't working. I'm still on the ground. I should be flying by now. Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all. Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie. Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah, cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> going down the steps, dears. <sighs> Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! 
Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> and this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh, is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun times. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! He wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy faces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the picture. 
Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> My phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Oh. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Haha, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. The restaurant. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kittens to a restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. We're celebrating with our favorite meal tonight. This place has got the best pumpkin pie in the entire town. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Shh. Hush, kittens. You must mind your manners in a restaurant this night. Oh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, sir. Allow me to escort your family to your table. Here we are. Uh -huh. Wow, it's a picture from your wedding. You looked really good back then, Mom. <laughs> looked back then? Mommy and Daddy still look just as good. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, we know what we'd like to order. Can you please bring us the specialty of the house, the pumpkin pie? But of course. This is boring, guys. Is this any way to have an anniversary celebration? I expected something really fun. Where are the fireworks and balloons? Why are there no rose petals falling from the ceiling? And aren't doves supposed to hold up a congratulations banner? Uh, this can't be much fun for our poor parents. even better. Well, we can ask the piano player to play a song that our parents love. We can ask the waiter to light some nice romantic candles when he brings us our pie. That's a great idea, Cookie. And I know something we can use instead of rose petals. Pink napkin pieces. Awesome. Operation Celebration begins now. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Daddy? Mm -hmm. May we go to the restroom to wash our paws? Mm -hmm. You may, kittens. Just be careful. The kittens tried their very best to help their parents enjoy their special night. Hmm? Pudding made arrangements with the pianist. As did Cookie with the waiter. <laughs> and Candy collected napkins. I figured out how to turn off the light. The candles will look better in the dark. Now we just need to wait until they bring our pumpkin pie out. Look, it's coming <gasps> now! All right, it's time! <laughs> hey.
Oh, oh. I'm very sorry. Mr. Waiter Cat, you were supposed to light the candles when you brought our pie out. But that wasn't your pie, little ones. It was for that gentle cat there. Whew. Here comes yours now. Oh, no. We wanted to make this the perfect celebration, but we just ruined everything. <laughs> We can see that you tried hard, kittens. It means a lot to us. <laughs> However, it's better if we started heading home. I'm very sorry for all this. I'd like you to have our pie as an apology. Oh, no worries. But you have something big to celebrate, don't you? So please, take it home with you. I have a really good idea. Welcome to Lit Fantastic Kitty Cat Restaurant. Might I suggest that you order the specialty of the house? Pumpkin pie. Enjoy. Happy anniversary, my dear wonderful wife. Happy anniversary, darling. Congratulations! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats made a lovely celebration, just like in a proper restaurant. It was wonderfully festive and very touching for their mommy and daddy. Memory. One day, the kitty cats were getting ready to go to the playground. Uh, ah! Hey, Pudding, can you do me a favor and let me know when it's 2 o'clock? I'll be sure to let you know. What's happening then? There's a show about submarines coming on TV at 2 o'clock. I really want to watch it. Kittens, are you ready? Did you remember everything? Oh, yes, I think so. Cookie, did you remember to feed our goldfish? Uh... Sorry, I forgot. But, Cookie, I asked if you would do that. Don't worry, I'll feed your fish for you. Why don't you go on and play? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hello! Hello! Cookie, <laughs> did you bring the book about vampires? Sorry, but I forgot it. But, Cookie, you keep forgetting it again and again. Yeah. Remember when I asked for your help building my model of the moon and you forgot? I'm sorry. I just sort of have a hard time remembering stuff. How about we try to train Cookie's memory? Then he could remember stuff better. Yes, that'd be just great. All right, all you have to do is take a good look at these objects and remember all of them. All right, sure. Hmm, let's do this. First, close your eyes. Now take a look and tell us what is different. Hmm. The doll's gone. Very good. Now close your eyes again. Open up and tell us what's changed. Now the ball and bucket are gone. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Now close them again. Open them. Hmm. The ball is back, but now the net is missing. Looks like you're pretty good at seeing things and remembering. Let's do a different kind of test, like a quiz to figure out how fast Cookie's memory is. Here we go. The first question is, what color is your grandma's favorite dress? That's easy. I know that. Her favorite dress is lilac. You're, you're right. right. How many steps does your cellar staircase have? Uh, 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 uh. Seven! You're, You're right. right! What time does your father leave for work in the morning? Uh, running late. It's almost nine. Oh. I know. At nine o'clock. Time. Oh, no. Pudding, what time is it? It's half past two. My submarine huh? show has already started. Oh, no! Uh -huh. That wraps up the best show we've ever done. It was awesome. See you next time. Oh, I missed it. Missed it completely. Hey, Pudding, I asked you to tell me when it was 2 o'clock, remember? Sorry, we started playing and I forgot all about your show. Well, it's not easy to remember requests from other people. I remember by writing them down. Like this, look on the internet for the program about submarines that Cookie wanted. 
so I'll remember it now. Great, Mommy. Thanks. I think I understand now how my friends felt when I forgot all the things they wanted me to do for them. I have a really good idea. Cookie can write his friend's request in a notebook just like Mommy. Then he won't forget them anymore. That is a great idea, Candy. You can even use this notebook right here, Cookie. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, I did all the things for my friends that I'd forgotten. Look here. I gave Smudge his book and helped Chase make his moon model. Very well done, darling. And I remembered to keep the promise I made to you as well. Look, I tracked down the submarine show that you missed. Greetings, wonderful viewers. Today's awesome program is all about submarines. Awesome! Thanks a lot, Mommy. From then on, Cookie took care to keep other people's requests in mind. And he used his special notebook to help him remember. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow! Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go! So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Time to play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first! I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play Cookie next. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, one, two, three. three. Rock. Scissors. Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. Mm. Oh, the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then. But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. Ship. Magnifying glass. Jump rope. It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Huh? Huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the huh? hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Uh, oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> Quite fond.
fond of this new game, you're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookie, let's use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. Be back in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna take huh? these into the kitchen. That way, they won't tempt anyone. Cookie, I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah. No! Remember to use your willpower. We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. <gasps> that they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins! No, give them to me! <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no! You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win! Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. 
And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. Woohoo! That was awesome! All right, it's your turn! Well, I'm done! I am not going to play with you anymore! I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two! So I'm going outside to play with my ball! The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm gonna have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies! I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it! And I'll become a great fashion designer! <laughs> now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh! <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. Ah, and win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah. I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, Thing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, there, Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. We'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is in full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win as long as your friends and family are with you. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just gonna go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I will.
once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show. <coughs> <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Thank you, my darling. The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Oh. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin. Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're gonna need is eggs. And flour, right? Oh. Oh. Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh huh? Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, Mommy? I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. The Mysterious Cake Chomper. One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper. Who now? The Cake Chomper? 
<laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Oh. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. <laughs> and it was hooting like an owl. <laughs> it ate the cake and then ran off somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not gonna believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Oh, it looks like the cake chomper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chomper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old cake chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> 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 so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it.